This is Bob. <laughs> he is like a very good person. <laughs> Hundreds come through the doors of Evangel Hall every day looking for a safe place to stay, a warm meal, or simply someone to talk to. This is Kimberly's story. I'm going to until I'm 90. <laughs> a resident at the hall for three years, she exemplifies why some are inclined to stay at a shelter. Often people are homeless because of the environment that they've grown up in and typically they, they came from uh, family situations that were either not very supportive or even destructive. I was born at St. Michael's Hospital. My mom and dad, I see them. Okay. No, it's okay. You don't have to talk about that if you don't want. It's okay. You don't have to talk about your mom and dad, Kim, if you don't want. Don't worry. Kimberly, a loving soul lost in a lonely world. Anybody can end up on the street. Um, it doesn't matter what your circumstances is. We've had people coming here. They've been lawyers and doctors in their past lives. And, you know, some, something unfortunate happened, whether it be an illness or they lost their family, a mental illness and an addiction. Um, they've lost everything and then they lost their homes. And it's kind of like a trickle-down effect that can happen to anybody. It's a very, very harsh life and harsh existence. I think we live in a world with so much abundance and, and so much wealth that um, people shouldn't be living on the street. Throughout my journey, I've also encountered some amazing people who've undergone drastic transformations. Meet Esther and Maria. Um, I had a drug problem. I'm now six months clean, so I'm doing really well. I want to go back to school to upgrade myself. Good for you. I wanted to actually become someone who can talk to other children or, or go to a school and um, show them or, or tell them my experiences in the drug life so yeah. that maybe they will change their mind about trying it yeah. or getting into it. Maria and Esther, women who represent change. Last but not least, the story of Bill. After 18 years, I got in trouble because some dealers took over my house and then I hit the bottom. I mean, everybody's bottom is different. I hit my bottom and I just, there was no more, no farther to go. I was past the gutter and we had to just crawl up and start over again. Never too late to change. You no, know, I, I started writing, I wrote a, my first poem when I was like two years ago when I was living underneath this truck. And I, They got me volunteering here and, and it changed my life quite a bit because I got off the, off the streets and I'm living in a place now. Before we finish, I'd like you to please consider the following. And if you are just kind and respectful to them, I think the vast majority of them will very much appreciate that. Just a nod and a smile sometimes is enough to make somebody stay. If it wasn't for the Evangel Hall, I would be on the street right now. I'd probably be dead if it weren't for these guys. Well, like everybody around here that's a lot of support with me and they help me out when I need any help. If I can do it, anybody can do it. If you are homeless, you don't have to be homeless for long. Yeah. You just need to reach out to a place yeah. like this. This Lots place is a lifesaver.